Check one, two. All right, boys. I wanted to make a tutorial for installing Xmage for quite some time, and now we're gonna do it. One shot. Here we go. So you get your computer, you go to your browser, and the first thing you wanna do is install Java. Uh, this might take a bit because I'm in a virtual machine. Come on. There we go. There we go. Java.com. Download. Download. Install Java. While this is all happening, you're going to, I think the URL is xmage.de and there you want to download the launcher. Yeah, the setup goes up, install. You wanna save that. Is so Java already done? Probably not. Wait a bit. You can already see if you have not installed Java, then it doesn't associate with the with the ending jar. Also, you can check with start computer settings. If you want to change that? Go to programs. It's all in German, but I think you get the idea. Okay, Java setup next. Install Java. See, it's a blank machine and. There is no Java in here. All right. Installing Java, yada, yada, yada. Come on, you can do it. Right, after Java is done, you want to go to your downloads. Probably just downloads and then double click the Xmage launcher. And you might wanna move the Xmage launcher first to a folder where you want to install the program because it installs it right in the folder where you um, place the launcher. Okay. Says you this is the first time you launched the uh, Xmatch app. Okay, gonna launch and it directly starts downloading stuff. Okay, Java's done. Installing Java again. I don't know. Yada yada yada. Probably just checking. Yeah, we already have that. Now it starts downloading Xmatch and if you check the folder, then you see some files emerging. Installing it is Xmatch. This is the launcher. And then you want to launch the client. Opens another window, yada yada yada. You want to accept that. So now you don't want to go to localhost. Is this going? Okay. I think the European server is xmatch.de. Want to fancy username? Okay, I've cleaned. And then you want to hit connect. <laughs> and there you're in. So there's one more thing to do. 
Um, you want to download images and symbols. You go with symbols first. Just click here. Do you want to download symbols? Yes. And it goes yada yada yada. Download all the symbols. So you have nice symbols. Okay, we're done here. X. And the next thing you want to do is download images. You can just click images. Then the dialog should open and it says zero of so many images. And you see the file size, it's over one gigabyte. So this will take some time. You also can only check only the images for standard. So let this go through. And there is a known bug that says it might doesn't download all the images. There are some left, but it shouldn't be more than 100. So if you're missing more than 100 images, then you want to change the server to Wizards or Magic Spoilers and restart the down download. Let's do this real quick, go away. Let's cancel here, still it's stuck. Okay, and just restart the download. And it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. This takes some time, so just run it in the background and you'll be fine. So let's just cancel here, show you one basics. So you can click here on the formats or you can click out the formats you don't want to play. For example, I just only want to play modern, so I click here, 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 and I only get the modern, modern games. And if you start a new game, then you can Go constructed, modern, vintage, legacy, standard, what you want to do, time limit, and you have some stuff. And here you can equip your <laughs> or choose your deck. So how do we do get a deck in here? So first we want to get a deck. So go to MTGO top eight dot com I think. That's MTG top eight, right? So we pick some random deck. Let's go with good old jumps, shall we? Just want a quick tech list. So I go export. And with MTG top 8, that's when you go to text editor. That's notepad. Then you paste it. And you want to get rid of those editions first. It's a bit complicated to do. If you have a better editor, then it's easier to do. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Some guys, genre. Should have prepared this, but whatever. And you mark the sideboard if you go sideboard. And you want to kill SB. And also the additions. Get rid of this nonsense here. And then you want to save it. <laughs> Go to your desktop, just save it. Deck. That is a text. Then you go to XMatch, you go to Deck Editor. Takes a bit of time because I'm in a virtual machine. If you want to get editor, you want to import. Then you go to your desktop. You want to select the deck and just open. Takes a bit of time. 
and then you see here you see the card count you see all the all the things and you notice it's really some images are missing for example not not some ports just here okay then you go to save save your deck jump save and you want to go to games and either you want to join a game or you want to make a new one so if you make a new one you just select it here and if for example if you select standard which maybe should say uh, that it's not legal <laughs> now if i go okay yeah it says uh, it's not legal i go modern and this up pops up somebody pops in you go hit start and start again and if you want to join again you go join uh, that's a draft or something construct the tournament you want to just select matches you want to join this guy then you select the deck and you click ok and because of this is commander he runs around yeah, that's pretty much it if you have any questions let me know in the comments i hope it's really easy to install this x match and i hope you have fun on the platform see you around